part one of two videos on how to paint slash restore your bike. I've gotten a few messages and comments about how to do this, so here we go. I'm gonna warn you, this is gonna take a lot of time and potentially a good amount of money depending on how detail oriented you wanna get with your paint design. This video is gonna solely be on how to prep your bike for paint. And here's a list of the materials you're gonna need. Safety glasses, rubber gloves, paint brushes, paint slash aircraft stripper, brass, wire brushes, wax and grease remover, shop rags and towels, and wet sanding paper from 320 to 1000 grit, a spray bottle and water, masking tape, and steel wool. Optionally, you can buy Scotch-Brite disc pads with an adapter for your home drill bit. This will help save you a little bit of time on the stripping process. All these items you should be able to find at your local Home Depot or Craig and Auto Store. First step, you're gonna to wanna to put your rubber gloves on because the aircraft stripper will burn your skin. Get one of your paint brushes and put your aircraft stripper into some kind of container. Take one of your brushes that you got then thoroughly brush on the aircraft stripper onto the bike frame. Now depending on what brand it is, it'll tell you how long you want to let it set. This is going to chemically react with your paint and cause it to bubble off. Now it's not going to take everything off, but it will take a good majority for you. After this, you want to wash down your frame with water. This will stop the chemical from reacting, and you can do this process a few times if you'd like. Next, it's the fun part. Sanding. Yeah! I'm just kidding, by the way. Now you're gonna wanna take your sandpaper or your Scotch-Brite disc and go through the frame thoroughly, making sure to get every single piece of paint off the frame. The more time you spend here and the cleaner the frame is, the better your paint's gonna be in the end. You're gonna wanna start with the lower number of sandpaper, like 320 to start off, and then gradually go up to 800. Now if you have a lugged frame or any frame with a lot of details, make sure to do whatever you can to get all the lugs really clean. This is where you're really gonna see the difference between a good paint job and a great paint job. Now after removing all the paint from the frame, you're gonna wanna wipe it all down with the wax and grease remover. Now you're going to want to make sure that you don't touch the frame without a glove on that's clean because any kind of dirt or oils on the frame is going to mess with the paint so that it doesn't stick as well. After that you're going to take your masking tape and you're going to mask off parts of the frame that you don't want to paint. So that's it. That's part one. Your bike is prepped and ready for paint. That wasn't so bad was it? Please subscribe and part two will be coming soon. Or maybe it's here. Maybe it's right here. Already. We don't know yet. If this is, if there's a box here, click it because then part two is uploaded. And if not, it will be soon.